What's with the bag? Uh, books, shirt, underwear. Hey. For Aaron. Clean pants, it's important. Oh, no, they won't let him have them. You have to post them. Do you? Oh, you've never been to prison, have you? No. I am an honorary dingle. Any road. Doesn't need presents. He'll be home before we know it. Oh, come on. We're wasting business in town. You didn't miss out, if I'm honest. But we save you some K for when you get out. Yeah, like that's going to happen. You're not the same lad as you were two years ago. The judge is going to take that into account. Not what my solicitor reckons. Well, what's he said? Do you need me to have a word? And what are you going to do? Right, it's important to stay positive. Nah. There's loads of lads in here all reckoning they're going to walk free. It's pathetic. I raise your hopes. Right, no, you mustn't think like that. If I'm going down, I want to be ready for it. <laughs> What's his problem? Mum, it's prison. Stuff happens, don't worry. How can I not worry? I've told you, I'm fine. Stop going on about it. You want me stopping for a pint, then? Yeah, I will. Uh, lager, please. Hey, how was he? Not good. He reckons his solicitor told him to expect bad news. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jazz. Thanks, I appreciate that. If there's anything I can do... Listen, if he gets time, he'll be fine. He's a strong lad. No, he was a mess, Kane. If they lock him up, I really don't know how he's going to cope. He handed himself in, didn't he? Yeah, after the police got a phone call. That doesn't really count, apparently. You look troubled. I've made a terrible mistake. Oh. It's the first time I've ever heard you say that. Excuse me. May I? Have a quiet word. Oh, I'm not really in the mood for a chat, love. It's about Aaron. Edna, uh, no, not now. I need to own up. I thought I was doing the right thing. What are you trying to say? Well, I, I thought he was responsible for the fire. So you called the police? Well, obviously, if I'd have known. But you didn't, though, did you? I am so sorry. I did hide him when the police turned up. I told you to leave it. You knew about this? Don't blame Paddy. Oh, no, I know exactly who to blame. You're just lucky I don't knock you into the back end of next week. There's no need for violence. Oh, relax. I don't hit OAPs, no matter how bigoted and twisted they are. But I will tell you something. If my son gets sent down, I swear I will never forgive you. I say we kill a dog. <laughs> it's hardly the time for joking. I'm not joking. You shopped Aaron. Please, I feel bad enough already. Yeah. I'm on your side. You know that. When I found out the truth, I begged him to tell the police who the real culprit was. <laughs> the Dingles don't do that. Well, maybe they should. How can justice be served if people don't tell the truth? What if Chas is right? What if he does something? Prisons can do terrible things to people. If anything happens, I will never forgive myself. 